On September 3, 1967, Sweden's roads changed dramatically. Known as Dagen H or H Day, Sweden switched from driving on the left side of the road to the right, aligning with most of its European neighbors. Shortly after, a major new six-lane motorway opened in Stockholm, becoming the main road in the city. Over time, the road's capacity has doubled with more lanes added, but it's still not enough due to increasing traffic and population. Residents are starting to feel the congestion. To address this, officials are building the Stockholm Bypass, a $4 billion road and tunnel system that will go around the city. When finished, it will be one of the longest road tunnels in the world. Building under Stockholm's waterways and islands is challenging, but with the city's growing population, it's a necessary project. Stockholm, Sweden is known for its 14 islands, cold winters, and as the home of IKEA and ABG. It's one of Europe's fastest growing cities due to strong economic growth. By 2100, the population is expected to rise by over 43% to nearly 3.5 million. More people mean more traffic. Despite a good public transit system, driving remains the most popular way to get around, putting a string on the roads. To ease congestion, Stockholm is building the E4 bypass. Here's what it will look like. Starting south of the city in Skarholmen, the 21-kilometer system, which includes an 18-kilometer tunnel, will connect to the north in Hagvik, directing traffic west of the city center. The project features twin tunnels with three lanes each, six interchanges, and two roundabouts. At its deepest point, it will be nearly 100 meters underground. When completed in 2030, the $4 billion E4 bypass will be one of the longest road tunnel systems in the world. Building a huge project like this doesn't happen overnight. It requires a lot of technical skill and engineering knowledge. Looking at a map of Stockholm, you can see why building this route is so challenging. Digging a tunnel under land is difficult, but working around waterways and deep underground adds even more complexity. To clear the route, workers start by drilling a ring of holes into the rock. They fill these holes with a mix of cement and water, which hardens to block any water from seeping in through natural cracks. Then more holes are drilled and filled with blasting material. The rocks are exploded and removed piece by piece as the tunnel begins to take shape. Excavating the 22 million tons of rock and sand needed for the tunnels will take years. Once a section is cleared, workers reinforce the tunnel with rock bolts and spray the walls with concrete. They then add an inner wall and outer ceiling to prevent water from leaking in. Different sections of the rock present different challenges. Some require extra reinforcement, while others need more ceiling than expected, which slows down progress. Digging the tunnels is just one part of the job. Ensuring driver safety is also crucial. If I were driving so far underground, I'd want to be sure I could get out safely. To ensure this, there will be a ventilation system with 250 reversible jet fans and four exhaust air stations to keep the air quality good. In case of a vehicle fire, a water-based system will be installed along the tunnel ceilings in 50-meter sections. Building a tunnel under a city is much more complicated than building a regular road through it. However, tunneling helps reduce the project's impact on the environment and keeps more space available for housing above ground. Even though building this new infrastructure for cars might seem counterintuitive when people are encouraged to use public transit, Sweden is taking steps to clean the air by banning petrol and diesel cars from some city areas. The country aims to cut carbon emissions by 30% by 2030. Officials say that the new bypass will add less than 1% to TO2 emissions from traffic. However, some research suggests that this might be an underestimate, considering possible increases in traffic, construction materials, and non-electric vehicles. The Stockholm Bypass project has faced delays and was initially supposed to be finished in 2018. As of 2024, construction is still ongoing and is not expected to be completed until the end of the decade. The project has also gone over budget, with costs rising by nearly a billion dollars due to issues like contract cancellations and safety concerns. With Stockholm's population growing quickly, further delays could be problematic. Traffic in the city center is already heavy, so completing the bypass will be a much-needed improvement. This is one of Sweden's largest infrastructure projects, and everyone is watching to see how it turns out. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about construction, make sure you're subscribed.